From the Green Monster to the Freedom Trail, Boston is a one-of-a-kind city. However, even as Boston made way for ducklings, it did not make way for trains like some other cities. Boston's lack of Class 1 railroads makes it hard to rail fan freight trains close to home if you're a city kid like me. On August 25, 2021, MBTA ran a rail train from Fitchburg, Massachusetts all the way to Reading. The power on the train consisted of MBTA F40PH 2C number 1055 and a Norfolk Southern ES40DC number 7564. Weird, huh? A rail train is a train that transports rails from one place to another. This train can also lay the rails itself. The MBTA had an order for rails to be placed between CP Fells, just east of Oak Grove and Milepost 15 in North Wilmington. This rail train began dropping rails the week of September 5th, 2021, and a second rail train arrived not long after. When I found out this train was running, I happened to already be on the train back from a friend's house in Beverly. I got to North Station and made a quick transfer to the Orange Line, which the World of Transit and I took up to Oak Grove. We then took a bus to Melrose Cedar Park and the waiting game began. It was about 30 minutes until we realized we missed the train going towards Reading. Thinking all hope was lost, we began brainstorming other things to do. In an instant, however, we heard that the locomotive for the train would be heading back down to Boston as light power, and this meant the Norfolk Southern Jeevo would lead back to Boston, long hood forward. Long hood forward is a railroading term for when a locomotive's long hood is the side of the locomotive leading the train in its direction instead of its short hood, which is the typical running style. Here is the rail train's light power through Melrose Cedar Park with a nice horn salute. I wonder if the people in the cars at the crossing realize the oddness of this train. Probably not. Boston was built before the railroad, and all of its streets are made of twisting and turning cow trails that make it hard to build a railroad around. However, Boston took what they could get, but without a north-south rail link, the MBTA has to use a stretch of track known as the Grand Junction. This track is not used by in-service passenger trains, but instead equipment moves that connect the north and south sides. This line is utilized by many trains, which include, but are not limited to, the Reedville Switcher, the North Side Work Extra, the Geometry Train, and more. Today, we will be taking a closer look at both the Geometry Train and the Reedville Switcher. For more about the Geometry Train, or Geo Train, feel free to watch my video on the Geo Train. A geometry train is a train that measures the geometry and shapes of tracks. MBTA's bi-yearly geometry train always has Amtrak's corridor clipper in set, and usually four other cars. The MBTA typically runs its geometry train in July and February. Notice what's wrong here? It's September! This geometry train is running completely out of schedule. I'm still not sure why. They ran all the way to Cove Interlocking, the beginning of the Worcester Line, on their way inbound. Here they are past CP3. They then cross over from track 5 to track 7 in order to access the 3.3 switch to the Grand Junction.
We set up next to the old Heinz warehouse in Cambridge. This warehouse was used to store ketchup and mustard back in the day, but is now office space. I wonder if the smell of ketchup and mustard still roams the halls of this building. Must be a strange smelling work environment. Anyhow, the Geo train took about 30 minutes to switch on to the Grand Junction, and here they are cruising towards BET. following weekend, MBTA's Reedville Switcher ran much earlier than usual to the BET. On their typical Sunday running schedule, they get to BET from 1.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. However, on this day, the crew probably wanted to finish up their work early before Labor Day, and they did just that. We see their return from BET at Pacific Street. They picked up a hefty five cars and two locomotives. One locomotive being MBTA F40PH-3C number 1065, which arrived on MBTA property only a couple months before this was taken and was never put in rent -of -view service. chase them to the Charles Gate Bridge. The 2033 leads the Reedville Switcher towards South Station. On August 26th, Amtrak 449, the Lakeshore Limited from Boston to Chicago, had two special units celebrating Amtrak's 50th anniversary on it. These locomotives were P-42s number 100 and number 108. They were supposed to lead the train on their own, but due to a mechanical issue, a Phase 5 locomotive was added to the front. More than a week later, Amtrak 108 led 449 on its own. Here they are at a new spot near Heinz Convention Center. 